Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Ariel Fox. Today I've spent the day in Brighton catching up with my mum who lives in Wales. She'd come down for a couple of days to do some work in Brighton and we managed to catch up and it was really nice to see her. I was initially planning on doing a little Victoria's Secret shop so I could do another haul video and obviously because I love Victoria's Secret. But I spent all my money pre-ordering the new Fallout game, the special edition one, so I didn't have enough money to do Victoria's Secret. I still managed to spend a lot of money today which is really annoying. Probably could have picked up a few bits but still not enough to have done a good haul video. But today I'm going to be putting food on my face if you want to see that. I'm also going to show you this cute addition. I got this piercing today. Dief, Dof, Dief, I, Dief, I, I really don't know how it's supposed to be said. Two of the people in the shop said it differently. If you know how it's supposed to be pronounced, please drop me a comment below. Piercing shop when I was having this done. I saw this beautiful belly bar in the window. I'm gonna be brief because this is supposed to be a food video, not this. But this is my cute new belly bar. It's in opal stones. Really, really, really beautiful. Excuse my ready nails they really need painting again this I was actually thinking was going to be like four pounds or six pounds or something around there like the highest end maybe 30 quid so it's like yeah I'll take this and then went to the counter and got them to get it out for me and when they got the price it was a hundred and twenty pounds I was so shocked at this price and uh, please let me know below if you've ever had come across a belly bar that has been that expensive because that is my first time. I think it's because they're like real actual stones in it rather than the fakes. My lovely mum actually gave half towards it so I could actually buy it so I'm actually really happy. So that's enough waffling on and let's get into today's video. Today I'm going to be putting food on my face. Yes, food on my face. It sounds stupid and it probably is stupid and I'm probably gonna break out and really regret it. The idea is this food is going to look like makeup and I'm gonna use it instead of my makeup. So I'm gonna do like, it's kind of close to what I'd normally do but with food instead. Should work in the sort of foody, food, food way? <laughs> Big thank you to Co-op for this lovely peanut butter. I am going to be using peanut butter for my foundation. I am going to be putting this in this cute cat bowl and then I will be mixing it with this oil which will 100% break me out. Yay! It's very thick and gloopy. I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. In hindsight, I should use coconut oil because it probably wouldn't break me out but peanut butter probably would anyway. So I've got this lovely runny texture going on here and I'm going to put this on my face. Applying it, I'm going to be using banana peel because why not? Let's use food for everything as much as possible. Oh, oh yes, oh, it's in my hair. That's good. I probably should have actually put my hair up. Absolutely stinks. <laughs> so because the peel's not playing game and more is getting on my hands than anything else, I'm gonna use this brush. This is one of my boyfriend's statue brushes. Shh, do not tell him, he'll be really cross. He actually uses this brush to dust his statues. He has a collection of the Marvel statues and DC statues and all sorts of like nerdy statues in the living room. They are really cool. He has like a proper obsession with them. They can't be turned, they can't be touched and they get dusted with makeup brushes. This is actually going on surprisingly well. It doesn't look very good. It looks worse in person than on camera. It actually looks a little bit better on camera than it does in person. It looks terrible in person. If you don't like the smell of peanut butter, you'll really hate this though. Next I'll be using self-raising white flour. I thought it was just self-raising flour and then it should have white underneath. That seems really weird that it just says self-raising white flour. This is free from gluten, so if you have a gluten intolerance, you can use this on your face. I'm just gonna set this beautiful overall look with some of this powder. It is actually getting everywhere. It's kind of taking the shine off a little bit. It is really cakey and my face is starting to feel a little bit stiff now, but it does smell delicious, so that's a plus point. Next, I am going to be doing some contouring. For my contouring, I am going to be using 
caramel spread by a Cadbury. This smells delicious and tastes delicious, so I will want to eat my face after this. But let's see how this works for contour. So I'm just applying this to my cheeks as I would. This actually smells delicious. I'm gonna blend it through and see what it looks like and see if it looks delicious too. You can see there's a lovely little sexy clump going on here. This looks like a really bad makeup application rather than like food. This is the look so far with contour, looking absolutely fabulous. Thank you, Cabris. You can tell I've just nipped a cop, can't you? <laughs> Grabbed all this stuff really quickly. I had no idea for a video. I was just like, oh, I need to have a video to put up this weekend. What am I going to put up? Uh, food on the face? actually spurred the idea of this whole video I was like what if I start just drawing on my face with this lollipop um and let's see what happens and then I thought oh no why don't we just put food all over my face and then put the lollipop on too this is just kind of taking my contour off and not really actually changing the color of my cheek too much looks like I've got a little rash going on. I'm going to try and blend it through with my brush a little bit and see what happens. Just dab it because this is so covered in food. I'm getting clumpy. Let me just pat this side. Might work a little bit better, probably not. I'm going to be using this cute little purple pot to mix up something else. Exciting. Some eyeshadow with these Energy Release Rip Off Barocca tablets. I'm going to put one of these into here. My delightful pot. Add a little bit of water. Whoops. Get this little fizz going on. And put that on my eyes. That's actually worked really well. Just by the colour, not just by putting tablets on my face. I'm really liking the yellow. I think it brings out the blue in my eyes. Don't you think? No. Um, okay, moving on swiftly. Next, I'm going to try and do my eyebrows. Zoom you and I'll check straws and seeing how we get on with them. Scratch that, I cannot get into these. So moving on swiftly again. For this, I'm going to use Christmas Blend Ground Coffee. Rich and chocolatey. Mm. On my face, on my eyebrows. I'd rather drink it. None of this is really working, is it, to be honest? Um, painting on here, as I would fill in my eyebrows normally. Some sexy particles going on here. So here are my beautiful, extravagant eyebrows. It's completely done, dusted, definitely not dusted. This actually has worked really well, apart from obviously where the particles are, but the colour is actually quite good. So not too mad at that one. And to finish it off, let's do the lips. I'm going to use my lolly again because it's safe and it won't make my lips swell up, hopefully. I'm really hoping to God no one knocks on my door now because if I act like this, everyone's going to think I'm a freak. Ta-da! This is my finished look. It wasn't going to be brilliant, was it? But she hasn't turned out as bad as I thought it was going to be. Bits are better than others. So the lolly definitely worked for bits it needed to do. It, I had to be quite rough with it. My cheeks are a little bit sore from scratching up and down my cheeks. Eyeshadow actually looks quite nice. Surprisingly, I'm really hoping this doesn't stain my eyes. It probably will. So I will be yellow-eyed and rashy and spotty tomorrow morning. If you are still here and you've persevered through all of this video, thank you so much for staying with it until the end. If you are still here and you've enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a like, let me know, because then I know if you want me to do more stupid videos like this or not. Really, really, really enjoyed this video and would like to see more of this sort of stuff, please subscribe to my channel below. If you are interested in seeing my unboxing of my Fallout Special Edition of the game and first thoughts and everything, I will be honest and you will see my little disappointed face if I'm upset at the product. I'll be unboxing it as soon as it arrives, which should be the day it's released and be getting the video up as soon as possible too. So if you want to see that, subscribe below for that. Thanks again for persevering through my video. Goodbye.